All right, all right, all right. Welcome everyone. It is a few minutes after one o'clock in the east, of course. If I got to choose a coast, I'll choose the east. Um, nothing wrong with the west. I love the west. I used to live out there. Um, and thank you. Thank you for all for joining us. I know we've got people that are continuing to join. I'm seeing a lot of recognizable names in my chat, and that makes me thrilled. You know, if somebody would have told me a couple of years ago, you know, in just a few years, there's going to be a crazy pandemic, and you're going to know a lot of attorneys. I would be like, what? You crazy. But here we are, 2021. And again, welcome to Build a List, Get More Clients. Go ahead and do me a favor. If you're not camera shy, turn on those beautiful cameras. Let me see those smiles if you wouldn't mind. Oh, there's my boy, Eric. All right. Desiree and Charles, he was here early. And oh, Valerie, look at that ray of sunshine. My goodness, man, she will just make you smile no matter what. Um, all right. We got a lot of recognizable people. We saw Jennifer Novak as one of our client uh, testimonials. So thank you, Jennifer. You didn't know you were going to be a star on the show today, I'm assuming, uh, but you are. And here's the thing. What I want you guys to do is go ahead and put in the chat your name, your law firm, and what you're here for and hoping to learn. I can't promise you we're going to tell you everything you need to know about building a list and email marketing. After all, truth is that would take probably a week-long workshop, but we're going to give you a great conceptual view. We're going to even offer you a solution for getting some of this stuff done for you. I want you to plan on about 90 minutes here and do me a favor, stay focused, uh, you know, make sure that you're not multitasking too much. If you have to go onto Facebook and tell them how amazing this webinar is, I'm sure I will get over this. But here's the bottom line, guys. We talk to so many lawyers and so many people on this chat right now or on this call are actually clients of ours. And we thank you for showing up. We're doing a lot of this work for a lot of people on this call. So we appreciate you being here. The truth is most of the times when, and I'll introduce my lovely co-host here in just a second, Brittany and I talk to a lot of law firm owners and they know they, they know they need this stuff. They know conceptually what this stuff looks like. They actually know it's not even that complicated, but we all get so busy working um, in our business that it's easy to not work on the business. And so I hope you take these next 90 minutes to take some notes, ask questions with the have them. I've got my entire team here. You'll see they're all labeled that video thing. So we, we represent a good bunch here and really take it all in and know that we're going to break it down super simple and give you some things that you can start doing today to get started. All right. So next slide, please. Uh, you might recognize, uh, well, neither of us in this shot. Um, on the right there, we have uh, Brittany Luhu. Um, <laughs> this is my co-host. She is our marketing director for that video thing. I met Brittany a long time ago, almost 10 years ago now. Um, she was the creative director for Suzanne Evans Coaching. She has 10 years as a brand strategist and designer, five plus years with SEO experience, has her own strong uh, social media following and presence. She really believes in getting out there and making herself visible because here's the truth. When people know us, it's just easier to move forward. And that's what we're gonna show you during this process. It's why when we talk about building an email list, when we talk about building funnels, we want videos in there, guys, because that's going to create that connection a lot quicker. Me, there I am as the Grinch, uh, 20 plus years as a video professional. I've literally sold over $3 million uh, in video services. Probably that's up to five, uh, thanks to this year where that video thing will break the million dollar mark. Woohoo! Uh, and that really is an indication of how many clients 
We are helping with their videos, their video strategy, their video marketing, et cetera. My videos have sold literally over $15 million in services, and that continues to grow as we help attorneys. And I've worked with some big, big names that I won't bore you with. Just trust the fact that you're here. We actually have experience in this, and we know what we're doing. So without further ado, I'm going to hand the next couple of slides over to Brittany. Yeah, welcome guys. Okay, next slide. So I'm gonna jump right in. Um, you're here to learn how to build a, list, build a list so that you can get more clients. Well, how many of you just like raise your hand, how many of you know what a list is or list building is? Like some sort of idea of it. Yeah. Okay, so, and some don't, and that's totally fine. So list building essentially is gathering uh, potential client emails, right? Or, or contact information so that you can have your own type of communication with them, right? List building is so important because you own the list. Does everybody remember the uh, Facebook crash of 2021? I didn't think I was going to get over it. I was like, <laughs> the world is ending, right? We all thought, oh my gosh, what's happened yeah. to Mark? Yeah, it's how many real. of you refreshed <laughs> that Facebook feed or Instagram feed like 20 times in a row to make sure it wasn't something on your phone? So, but, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what happened is, you know, so many people um, post on social media, so many people advertise on social media, media, so many people rely on social media, which is an important part of our marketing, but relying on it day in and day out can end up being, um, you know, the demise of your marketing really because if facebook crashes you have no way of reaching your people right like if you're if all your money is in facebook ads or in posting or things like that you have no way of of reaching your people so creating your own list you own it if facebook or google or uh, instagram changes their policies or algorithms you have to learn and adapt to that and that could that sometimes takes a little while right but when we own a list, we get to choose how we communicate with those people and as often or as less often as we want to, okay? So more than half decisions are made via email through email communication. Um, that one comes from HubSpot, but it's so true. Uh, email is not a dying dying art. It's not a dying uh, marketing strategy. It's, it's a very, very high converting strategy. As a matter of fact, with email follow-up alone, uh, marketers see a 4,300% return on investment by using email marketing strategies, okay? So that list is very, very, very valuable to you. And then lastly, 3.8 billion people have active emails. That's almost half of Earth's population. So if that doesn't sell you an email marketing or let you know that you really need to get a, a real systemized automated system in place for you, I don't know what will. What will. Also, let's talk about how email is personal, right? We can be one-on-one. -on -one. It's private. Nobody else reads anybody else's email. Um, we, it's purposeful. You, somebody is taking the time to give you their email or contact information. That means they are interested in hearing what you have to say. So by you not having a system in place, you're leaving money on the table and you're leaving that lead, you know, just, just sitting there. We have to have a follow-up plan. We have to have some sort of nurturing system once we get that email. Okay. Absolutely. All and right. Let me add two things to that real quick. One, there's everybody on this call. You could probably go through your email and go, Oh, I'm on William Sonoma email list. I'm on a Target email list. I'm on Next Door email. List. I mean, there's so so much of our life revolves around being on these lists that sometimes it's easy just to kind of take for granted and assume that is so normal business practices. For you guys, the idea is understanding like, okay, even if I have a list, how can I start shaking it to make a little money off that list. Because right now, if you have a list of, I don't know, let me just pull a number out of the sky. If you have a list of over 500 people, I can pretty much guarantee you there's a way to get some money out of that list starting today, 
Somebody in that 500 needs something that you have, and they're just not aware of it yet. The other thing I wanted to mention, going back to that day that uh, the earth stood still with Facebook, Brittany was like, hey, let's put out an email to the list and jumpstart this webinar. And we did exactly that. And literally with that fast action on my, you know, marketing person here, we were able to jumpstart this enrollment list by like 30 plus people, right? Just by going, oh my gosh, what an opportunity that we see here, right? Because we cannot just take for granted that Facebook is always there. Like she was saying, they change things, right? If you're putting all your leads through Facebook, guess what? You don't own these, those leads until they get into your list, right? So don't be like, oh, I've got, you know, X number of people following on social media. Great, but slow down a bit, right? All right, next slide. Absolutely. Yeah, next slide. And, and just to add on to that, even when you think like, well, I'm using SEO, I'm using this, I'm using Google ads. Remember that those algorithms change and you don't owe that information until they filled out something on your website so that you own the information. So it's really, really important. Yeah, okay. and I love, I'm sorry, I, I love the chat right now. You know, Jason asked, do you fear with email marketing? We've already got a team member jumping on this about annoying the recipients. Yeah, it's a possibility. But the truth is sales requires asking. And that's essentially what's going on here, right? And the, and the people that don't need it, that don't want it, they will opt out. You cannot worry about the what ifs out there. And Eric, if you're sitting on 2000, dude, we will talk. <laughs> We're going to shake that list tree, as I like to call it. <laughs> All right, let's 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 talk about what we're covering today, Britt. Yeah, what we're covering. So essentially, we're going to go through the PNC journey and what a funnel is. We're going to go through your ideal client, how to define what that ideal client looks like. Um, lead magnets, some of you may or may not, not know what those are. We're going to kind of cover those and give you some examples. We're going to talk about landing pages automated email, the, that's the money maker right there, and then driving um, traffic uh, to those opt-in pages and video ads as well. So next slide, please. And we'll actually just go into the next, the let's focus slide. Perfect. Okay, so your marketing, the, the goal of your marketing is to deliver qualified PNCs or potential new clients to your sales team. So that's the goal of the funnel, right? From we get qualified leads that we can hand off to somebody to sell. All right, next slide, please. So in your workbook, um, if everybody has a workbook in front of them, if they don't, team, if you'll just throw that link in the chat so people can open that up. So you have the P and C journey in front of you. You have the whole thing. Today, we're only going to focus on this portion of it, which is lead generation and lead conversion. To us, the lead conversion is a consult, right? So it essentially starts with some sort of promotion that gets them to the lead magnet, the delivery of that lead magnet. And from the delivery of the lead magnet, we go into the email follow-up, which the only goal with our email follow-up is to get them to sign up for the consult, right? We know once they're in a consult, we can pretty much convert them after that. Now, I want to point out here that um, this is all next step marketing. One step takes them to the next step, takes them to the next step. So I really want you to focus and think about things as just one step at a time. Our goal with advertising or promoting isn't to get them to book a consult. It's just to get them to the opt-in page, okay? Um, and then essentially, when they're in that sequence, even if by email three, they have booked a consult, we pull them out of that sequence. They don't need to be in, they don't need to get any more of those emails if they've already booked a consult they move into a different part of the journey. And that's kind of the next steps that you have on your PNC journey outline. Okay, next slide, please. All right, and this is, this is where we talk about funnels producing money. And this is when, you know, Eric says, you know, there's 2000 people on his list. There is money in there. One way or another, I can assure you there's money in there. Now, why this is so important when somebody gets on your list they basically just said hey i'm interested in this opportunity 
or I need help with this, right? And even when we go to the big companies, right? If you go to a, a Pottery Barn website, most likely the first thing you're gonna see is a pop-up window that basically says, do you want to a 20% coupon? Put your name and email here. As soon as you do that, you are on their list, right? And they're banking on the fact that if they can market to you, they've got a higher percentage of, of opportunity to close you on something. And it's the same concept for literally every business, right? So in the chat, are you actively building a list? Just yes or no, just quickly, yes or no. Are you actively building a list? And are you using that list for anything? You don't have to tell me if you want to brag and say, oh yeah, we, we've been segmenting and stuff like this. For instance, if I, every time I talk to a, a family law attorney and I, I ask them the inevitable question, okay, how many people on your list? And they're like, mm, 800, 1,000, whatever the number is. I'm like, okay, so what are you sending them? A newsletter. I'm like, okay, nobody really wants a newsletter. It's great. It keeps you top of mind, a newsletter. Look, we use one. We, it's coming out today. Uh, fingers crossed and all things go appropriately. It comes out every Wednesday. That's to keep us top of mind in your inbox. But what, like, for instance, a family law attorney can do a segment, a, a segment and take part of this list and go, okay, I'm going to reach out to this group of people who I don't know much about and maybe send them a survey. I'm going to reach out to this other group of people and I'm going to send them uh, basically a, a thing on if they're a, a, a video on like, hey, if you, you join my list and I haven't heard from you in a while, I'm creating this video series on what it's like to actually go through a divorce and give you some tips on how to navigate. And if you have kids or a business or a home, all those things are going to be included in this video series. Go ahead and click here to receive this series. Now, all of a sudden, you're, you're basically going, aha, out of that X number of people that I just emailed and asked them if they're interested, I got X percentage in uh, return back to me that they are interested. And now that's where I can seek that money opportunity. That's where those hottest clients, those warmest clients are going to be, right? And again, when you have somebody in a funnel and they're familiar, even going, let's go back to the newsletter on a weekly basis. When you are, you know, doing those calls, those gas calls, they're going to be more top of mind rather than, you worked with them three years ago and now you're calling them out of the blue. Make sense? All right. And it looks like we have, just looking back here, it looks like we've got a lot of people. Yes, sometimes, um, no, but want to. Great, you're in the right place. And all this is really, really good stuff. Okay. And can, uh, I, next just, slide. can I just Go bust ahead. one myth here? The yeah. newsletter, the newsletter is not the place to close people. Like you cannot send out your mm -hmm. newsletter with the goal of, I want to convert yeah. more sales. I want to convert more consults. That is definitely not, it's great if you have a newsletter, but again, just to reiterate what Jimbo said, the newsletter is to keep you top of mind. The newsletter is yeah. to keep them nurtured and seeing things from you. It, the goal of it is not to convert them. Absolutely. And then, and then Bob was saying he's working with someone but hasn't seen any, but anything come through it. I think at the end of this webinar, when we talk about traffic and stuff, that, that's most likely where the, the uh, opportunity is, I will say, to correct that uh, problem. All right. Next slide, please. All right. So at this next slide, this is just a visual representation of what we're covering, okay? So when we start at the top of the funnel, we're talking about driving traffic. We'll get into that a little bit more, but this is the way you're, you're basically advertising that you have something of value, right? When you're looking at that opt-in, we're really gonna be talking about that in terms of a landing page, which we're going to cover, okay? Once they've opted in or given us their name and email, we're going to give them in something in return. We refer to that as a lead magnet, sometimes called bait. It's something attractive that somebody would be willing to say, yeah, I'm going to give up my name and email 
to get this in return. And if we go back to like the uh, Pottery Barn example, most people are willing to give a name and an email to get a 20% coupon at the Pottery Barn, right? So their lead magnet is that 20% coupon, right? And that's the easiest way to think about this stuff. Now, here's the real issue that I see with, again, a lot of the law firms that we've worked with, they'll have something like a lead magnet, but when it comes to that next stage, this nurturing emails, they basically want to go in for the kill, right? And it's like, call them. And it's like, slow down there, cowboy. <laughs> like, let's just nurture them, get, earn their trust, create the likability. If they're going to be a client, they're going to be a client, right? But ultimately, you would much rather have a client come into your law firm with this idea of like, man, I've seen Eric's videos. I know this is the guy. Like, I, I already know this is the person. Now it's just a matter of pricing and is it going to work for me, right? And then ultimately down there at the, the very bottom, we're looking at the booked consult. That is the goal of every funnel, okay? Next uh, slide, please. And we'll go through this next slide pretty quick because here's, here's the measurement of a funnel success. Did the, did, the concept book, did the concept book or not? When they book, that funnel is a success and now it's on the sales department to convert. Make sense? So your marketing brings them in and then when your funnel produces that consult, now all of a sudden it's time for the sales team to go to work, all right? Next slide. Now, when you're looking at this and you'll see we're just slowly or quickly, depending on how quick you are with this stuff, we're moving through this. So we really can't, and, and I know every marketer harps on this. I've not been to a marketing workshop where you don't talk about your ideal client or your avatar. And there's a reason for this, okay? So let's go to the next slide. When you really know your ideal client, you understand what true problems they have and you understand how to better solve them. When you know who your client is, you understand your messaging. You know what language that you need to use with them. You know what's gonna get their attention, et cetera. So in your workbook, go ahead and go to the next slide. We've basically, giving you places where you can fill this out. You don't have to do, please don't do this now, just stay focused because I'm gonna go through these next slides rather quickly, but take the time and just write this out. And this again, guys, is something you need to do at least once a year because you're gonna find it's gonna get tighter and tighter. As you do these kinds of activities, especially the ideal client one, you're gonna start to pay attention to your clients and you're gonna go, huh, I really like that Valerie. I'm not so sold on Susie. How do I get more Valerie's? <laughs> well, it's actually quite simple. You call Valerie and you basically do a gas call with Valerie and say, hey, Valerie, can I have a few minutes of your time? I really have enjoyed working with you and I would love to find more of you. I'm assuming you don't have twin or triplets, but if I could just ask you a few questions and you go through some of these things, if you can go to the next slide, uh, because this is where I think it gets interesting. You do the demographics and all of those kinds of things, but when you start to ask them questions like, what were your objections when you were you know, hiring the firm? right? What challenges did you have? We like to believe that we think we know what our client would say, uh, but we were at a workshop in the middle of the summer that covered uh, this, some of the same stuff, the same stuff. And one of the activities was to go call your client, a, a former client, and everybody was coming back like, oh my gosh, I really learned something. So you've got you to get in there and do the work, right? And find out who that client is so that you can adjust your messaging and all of your marketing geared towards that person. Because, you know, Brittany had mentioned earlier in one of those slides where it's like, the marketing should deliver those ideal clients to you. Well, your marketing should also repel people who are not meant to work with you, right? Great marketing does both. It attracts and repels, all right? Next slide, please. 
All right, now here's where we get into the lead magnet, right? So go ahead and go to the next slide, please. So essentially a lead magnet has to be valuable enough that somebody wants to give their info, right? Kind of like the Pottery Barn example. I'm gonna give them my email to get that 20% coupon. Or um, locally I have a Hotworks, they offer a free session. I have to give them my phone number to get that free session, right? It's, it's a marketing strategy, but it has to be valuable enough to make the, the potential new client want to give you that information, right? And then you have to make good on that delivery. So your lead magnet should speak directly to a pain point or an opportunity for the prospect. You've got to make sure it solves a problem or at least gets them into the right step or right, or right journey to solving that problem, right? It also needs to make sure that it's really focused on them and not your firm. This isn't the thing to do. Well, my firm has been in business for 50 years and I've worked with hundreds of thousands of clients and blah, blah, blah. Not the place for this. This is about them. How do we help them in this moment quickly, easily, simply? Um, make sure that's the next point. Make sure that it's simple. Keep it simple. It's just an entry. It's just a point to get their foot in the door. It's just a point to start letting them get to know, like, and trust you. And then, of course, making sure that lead magnet still has a clear call to action, right? Even if it's not something they do right away, we always want to take the opportunity, direct them to the next step. And that could be book a consultation or book a case evaluation or whatever, whatever the next direction is for you. Um, and then lead magnet, magnets can really be anything. We really love a PDF or an infographic. It could be a video series. It could be a singular video. It could be a quiz. It could be a, a webinar registration. Um, it could be a checklist. So that's really up to um, what you want to create, what interaction you want to create with your potential new client, but those are all really good examples of what lead magnets can be. Okay, next slide, please. All right. And in so the meantime, in the meantime, if you already have a lead magnet, go ahead and put it in the chat and what uh, format you have, what format you already have. Go ahead, Brittany. Okay, so here's some ideas. If, if you don't have anything or if you need to make another lead magnet, here are some simple suggestions. Create a lead magnet around uh, your frequently asked questions, right? What are the, the five most frequently asked questions your, your firm always gets that if you had a PDF doc or a video, it would save you time answering? Bust some myths. What are some, some myths within your practice area that you also answer frequently or maybe know that stops a potential client from working with you or reaching out to you because they think there's this myth around it? Answer those. Uh, five things you need to know about the topic, your area of practice, three things to do that will help your situation right now, and then learn the difference between this or that, right? So just some general ideas to kind of help get those, um, those ideas rolling through. So I think we have a webinar. Webinars are great. I mean, driving someone to a webinar is a fantastic lead magnet as long as you're nurturing them before that webinar, right? We're not just getting them to opt in and then expecting them to show up. All of you received multiple emails to keep you warm before you got here, right? We were warming you up, keep reminding you, keeping ourselves top of mind so that you'd show up today. So make sure you do that. PDFs are great, printed books are great. Um, yeah. Things you need to know, seven things to ruin your claim. Love that, that's a great one. Free videos, free books. So a lot of the same stuff, which is awesome. Okay, next slide. Yeah, and anybody before I go on to this next one, anybody have something that we haven't talked about? Love that PDF, seven things to do. We love anything with numbers. And really this goes to a, um, just the level of human psychology, right? I can wrap my head around seven things I need to do, right, e et cetera. So when you're designing this lead magnet, keep always, always, always keep in mind people don't have a legal problem, personal problem, right? So the more personal you can make these things, the more just, you know, three things to do after a car wreck, 
uh, five things to know before you start your own business, right? All of those kinds of elements, it, it takes you out of being an attorney and takes you into more of a like, hey, I've got this valuable information and I think you should have it, right? And really, I get every once in a while, I'll have an attorney that will say something effective like, well, I'm going to give, give all this stuff away. Stop it with that lack mentality, okay? Information is everywhere. I can Google anything that you guys are going to do on the internet. The problem is, is I'm not connected to anybody at that point. That Google search doesn't connect me to the solution. It might point me in the direction of where the solution might be, but people buy from people, right? You all are in a people business. You deal with humans on a week in, week out basis. So you cannot forget that. And don't, like we do webinars, we do uh, our weekly newsletter. I'll tell you any which way from now until Sunday on the easiest way to make videos because I'm never once worried about losing you as a client. My focus is on gaining you as a client because I'm gaining your trust. I'm gaining your trust when I'm getting, when I'm giving you this valuable information, you're still gonna need help with it. I mean, if I've got a, a, a business problem and I know Valerie does, you know, helps business owners, I still can't go, well, maybe I can just write up this motion or my declaration myself. No, I have a landscaping business. I can't do a motion. You know what I mean? And I only play an attorney on Zoom, so don't put in the chat. But those know where motion goes, Jim. I get it. <laughs> Keep in mind, again, let me reiterate. People are buying from people, right? And your job is to lower that barrier of entry, right? And really, a good lead magnet should basically be, you should be able to digest it relatively easy. Nothing complicated, like Brittany was saying, very simple. But ultimately, that PNC in their mind should be thinking, man, if this free information is this good, Imagine what it's like when I actually have this attorney on my side. And that's where the real secret sauce is there, right? That's where it gets really good. All right. Uh, yeah, gaining trust is everything. One of my team members, exactly. You buy from people you know, like, and trust. Cannot discount that. And again, just like I'm not sitting here fooled thinking, oh my gosh, they want funnels. They want videos. You don't want those things. You want what those things will bring into your life, like new clients, right? When somebody comes to you, right, they don't want to hire an attorney to go through a divorce. They want to get on with that next chapter in their life, and they understand this is part of the process, right? So don't be fooled like, oh my gosh, right? It has to be so over the top important, and what are the other attorneys going to think, right? We don't care about what the other attorneys are going to think. We're in this business for ourselves and our families. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, next slide, please. So I'm going to walk you through how to, uh, or Brittany's going to walk you through how to create a lead magnet in an hour or less. And if you only have one or two lead magnets, listen up because this you definitely need more than one or two. Yeah. So we're so again, we're not giving them like life shattering, earth shattering information. We're what may seem to you like common info could really change their life or inspire them. So we're just putting out in the most simplest form some really good information that's valuable to them. So here's what I want you to do. If you don't have a lead magnet already or you need to create another one, all I want you to do is think of a topic you want to cover. Maybe it's that uh, five myths to bust or frequently asked questions or whatever the case may be. And I want you to create a list of interview questions that somebody could ask you, right? You know the things that get asked. You know how to answer those questions. You're just creating a list for somebody to ask you. Then all you need to do is record yourself and have someone ask you those questions or read them yourself and answer them and give that thoughtful answer, right? Think about what, what you would say to a client or how you would address it if someone asked it and have it recorded. Then simply transcribe that recording 
clean it up a little bit, right? We got to sometimes clean up. Things don't always read the same as when we're speaking recorded or on video. So we're going to clean it a little, clean it up a little bit and organize it. And then you're just going to hand it over to a designer on Fiverr to make it pretty so that it looks like, you know, something really profound, but really all it is, is you simply answering questions. You can get that done in an hour or less. Yeah, you 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 could have the PDF back before you eat turkey next week. Oh my god, I just did <laughs> this webinar. <laughs> but true, you you really could. Next slide, please. We're going to give you some cover examples, mm -hmm. and these were all done through Fiverr. Okay, um, and and they they look fine, right? I mean, eighteen frequently asked questions about North Carolina divorce, right? You can tell now that we've just walked you through how easy this would be, all the attorney, this in this case, Jenny Bradley, would have to do is write out 18 questions, record herself answering them, get it transcribed, and hand it over, right? In the middle, seven reasons you need a will and why they're not just for rich people, right? My estate planners, can I get a woot woot? How many times have, do we hear this? I mean, I'm saying we as I'm a Zoom attorney, um, <laughs> people think wills and trusts are only for the rich. And then on the other side, um, another one of our clients, uh, the Florida's Contractor's Official Guide to Getting Paid. So Andy Wyman's ideal client here is a contractor who is great at building and repairing and all of those kinds of things, but may not have the business acumen, like some of the attorneys when they come in, how to manage a small law firm, for example, of like, wait a minute, how do I get paid? Do I trust? Do I have these policies? Do I get these, you know, what all needs to be in writing and all of those things uh, that go along with actually getting paid, right? So you <laughs> probably, some of us even on this Call could look at that guide and learn a thing or two, right? And to a contractor who knows that they are good at what they do, man, this is like gold, right? And it creates that trust right from the get-go. And that's what I love about it. And we're talking, look, look, I think the most expensive one on here was like 300 bucks to get designed on Fiverr, right? I mean, this isn't crazy stuff. And again, you can literally have this done by next week. I want right? to address the how long are these yeah. PDFs typically? They're as and long as they what need is Fiverr? <laughs> yeah, and Fiverr. I think, I, think, I think somebody answered. It's basically freelance um, graphic designers, an easy way, cheap way to find a designer that can give you a super quick turnaround on something, right? Um, so or Fiverr is good for that. Oh. Let's talk about how long PDFs are typically. They're as long as they need to be. It shouldn't, if, if it takes you, you know, two paragraphs to answer a question, it's two paragraphs, right? If it takes you three sentences to answer um, with enough detail, it's three sentences. But here's what I wouldn't do. Don't overcomplicate these PDFs. Keep them, keep them simple, bold headlines, short copy, some graphics, right? Those are always nice to look at, little graphics or pictures or anything like that. Keep them simple and they really just need to be as long as they need to be, even if that means they're two pages long. Right. Okay? Yeah, there's no set defined length for that or how long should my video be, et cetera, right? It's, it's really start to think like, does this answer the question that I promised it would answer, right? So when somebody enters their name and email and I basically gonna tell them, you know, how to get paid as a Florida contractor, then it needs to answer how to get paid as a Florida contractor. The other thing to keep in mind here, guys, and we, we had this example literally yesterday working with one of our clients and one of our directors, Allison is on the call, did an amazing job interviewing one of our clients. We're gonna create the PDF for this client the interview went long. It did go about to an hour. And the truth is, when we started looking at it, we're like, oh, man, not only do we have a, a, the PDF lead magnet here, we've got all of this extra content that we'll start to make videos for, right? So keep in mind, and we're going to get into this in, in a little bit, we always believe that the fortune, it's in the follow-up, right? So whatever 
you know, you, you've answered the question, you've solved one problem in that lead magnet. Now you start to think, ah, I solved that problem for it, for them. But I know because I'm experienced that they're also going to have this problem and this problem and this problem. And that's where you build a great nurturing email sequence, right? All right, cool. Next slide, please. Now, here's where, you know, if you've been around us at all for even a minute, we believe in video. And I unsell people with my famous lines of like, look, if you can find somebody who knows the video strategy like we do, who has directors that are qualified and experienced to know the legal industry like we do. And if you can find another company that can make the shooting convenient like we do, and if you can find another company that offers a 100% money back guarantee on their video services like we do, and if you can find another, go hire them. We know video works. You don't have to do it from us for uh, with us, we know we do it extremely, extremely great. We believe we're the best at it because this is what we focus on. But video works regardless. Now, when you pair video into a funnel, here's where this is beautiful, okay? You've basically had somebody raise their hand and say, yes, I'm interested. And they've gotten your free resource and then you're just gonna drip on them video after video after video. And here's the gold in this. After three to four or five videos that they've watched of you, this PNC thinks that they know you, right? They may not understand everything about you, but they're getting used to the way you talk. They're getting used to the way you make it simple. They're getting used to seeing these emails hit their inbox. And if they go talk to another attorney and that attorney you know, as good as that other attorney might be, you've already built this relation with the relationship with them and they're not even aware of it, right? And again, what I know is true is video puts a face to the solution or the opportunity, right? And that PNC can start to believe in the possibility of actually what can occur, right? When they move forward. And we've all heard the stats on Google or wherever we've looked at whatever seminar, it takes about eight touches to make a sale, right? And so imagine if you just had half of those touches as video, they're gonna feel like they know you, right? And I had a client send me just this week, uh, an article from Entrepreneur Magazine, which, you know, it's a big deal. It's literally entrepreneur right there in the title. And it basically said, if you spend some time looking at projections for the future of content marketing, there's one thing you'll continually, continually see, video is the future. Well, video is already here for one thing, entrepreneur, but whatever. <laughs> Google video searches generate 41% more clicks this information alone is worth the production of video. Three out of five consumers watch videos about the products they wanna buy. 52% of consumers say that videos are of great help when deciding on a purchase. So that's one out of two. And this is my favorite, video customer testimonials, okay? And I know you're sitting there, but Jimbo, my client would never give a testimonial. They're, they've been through a divorce. Well, uh, wrong. We have a client on here who basically buried us in testimonials right when she hired us. And I think we shot over 15 testimonials for her on Zoom of divorced clients. Can you imagine a divorced person willing to talk about, hey, I actually like my life now? I mean, and so let me finish the sentence there. Video customer testimonials, your clients can increase sales by up to 600%. And I truly believe a lot of times you're going to say whatever you're going to say. I'm going to say whatever I'm going to say about our video services and yada, yada. But as soon as you watch another attorney tell, say how good we are, you're going to be like, okay, I know Jennifer. I, I trust her, right? This is worth something investigating. So keep this in mind when you're building a funnel and you're putting videos in there at really strategic places and, and 
man, it really lands on that ideal client where they're like, okay, I'm starting to buy in and I'm starting to believe in my future. Because remember, they don't have the legal problems, they have personal problems, and you're always selling a better future, right? That's what everyone's job on this call is to do. You're selling a better tomorrow, all right? Next slide. All right, now we are going to be talking about your landing page slash opt-in page. Next slide, please. And I've seen a lot of really bad landing pages out there. And the bullet points are what a good landing page is. A bad landing page gives too much information, has too many choices, and has more than one call to action. A good landing page doesn't have your firm, no, firm phone number on the page. You don't want them to call right now. Look, if, if they are desperate enough and they really need your help, they're gonna find a way to call. The landing page goal is one thing, capture their name and email. If you wanna take it a step further, you get a phone number, right? But really, you just want somebody to raise their hand and say, yes, I want this resource, okay? So right there at the top, you know the landing page is success when you get their name and email. And in order to really know this, you've really got to, you got to peel back the curtains on the landing page and look at the, web, uh, look at the stats on that page, you got to know how many visitors hit that page in a month, and then you got to know how many people opted in, right? Because that will tell you what needs to be uh, changed or tweaked to increase that uh, conversion rate on your landing page. You really have to do this with A-B testing, and I'm telling you guys, as much as I believe in video, sometimes I'm surprised a very static Simple page will outperform me on video and it hurts my ego. It really does. And Brittany will always be there to remind me it's not about me, <laughs> that we got their name and email and we're looking at the stats, right? Because when we run our business by numbers, it just becomes non-emotional and easier. Now, one of the things I love about putting video on that opt-in page, that landing page, is like if I saw an ad with you on video, and I clicked on that ad and it took me to the landing page and I see another video of you, that's two touches that you're seeing who I am literally within five minutes or less. So I love that. You gotta have some good copy on these things, bold headlines. Again, I don't care about your logo on these pages. It's just not that important. So if I see a logo at the top of the landing page, I'm like, why? Like, no, nobody cares about your logo. I get you paying $300 to get it designed on Fiverr or 20 bucks on Fiverr. But it's not that important. And when people have those personal problems or they're seeking opportunity, they're not looking for a law firm with the coolest logo. They're looking for a law firm that's run by human beings. Simple, clean, no navigation, no navigation. You can't click on other options on a proper landing page. And again, you can look all this stuff on stuff up online and it's gonna be verified uh, with all of the major marketing you know, institutions, the HubSpots, anybody that's somebody in the marketing world, these are the guidelines for a proper landing page. Now, if we go to the next slide, Brittany will talk more about A-B testing. Yeah, so, um, you know, obviously you see a logo on this page, but it's something we test against a page without a logo. And the logo is small and, and not taking up the whole page and all that good stuff. So a couple of things. You, won't, you don't know what you don't know. So we have to test. What works for us may not work for you. It is important to test. And listen, we test things until we find that sweet spot and then we still keep testing things. Isn't that crazy? So we'll test a video page against a non-video page, which performs better. Oh, it's the video page this time. Okay, now we're gonna tweak the headline. Can we get more opt-ins if we change the headline? 
No, it wasn't good. We got least opt-ins changing the headlines. Let's try to change some of the copy. Will it help if we change the copy? Until you find that sweet spot, okay? So there's there's no magic bullet or magic formula to know what, what performs the best, what works the best until you start testing stuff. And you're not gonna be able to do that. You have to hire a team that can test for you, right? And make sure they have those KPIs and they're looking at those KPIs once you start running traffic. So this is just two examples of something we test. Again, that video page, um, kind of a longer form page versus a shorter form page. There is no navigation. You, you cannot even get to the attorney's website from this landing page. Our only goal is to get them to enter in their name and email address. That's all we want to happen. So we don't allow any other navigation or allow them to navigate anywhere else because They'll get there eventually, but if we can get there, it's more valuable for us to get that info than to have them navigate to our website, okay? Um, so again, testing headlines, testing copy, ABT, always be testing, right? ABT. Uh, and the reason we do this is because we really want to make uh, data-driven decisions with our marketing. We can't guess. I mean, we start with guessing, right? We start with what we think might work or be appealing. And then we test from there so that we can make marketing-based decisions. I want to give you, uh, this is a little out of sequence for the funnel, but I just want to give you a quick overview of something. If we're driving traffic, so we're using some sort of promotion to drive traffic to this landing page, and this landing page isn't getting traffic or getting clicks, it's because I know nobody's clicking on the ad. So then I need to change something in my ad, right? If I'm getting lots of traffic to this page, but no one's opting in, I have a landing page problem. Something needs to be changed on my landing page. If people are opting in, but they're not booking consults, I've got an email problem. I need to get them to open their emails. So it's really thinking of things through step by step by step, right? And using your data to make those decisions for you on what you need to tweak and change. This is definitely not something you can try once and be like, well, it didn't work. Throw my hands up. It didn't work, right? You have to really test and get a sweet spot until you get people, um, until you see a response from it. Okay, that's all I've got for the uh, the testing landing pages. Let's go to the yeah, next let slide. Me, yeah, let me go back real quick to Valerie had a good comment. I have a file on my desktop of all the PDFs from companies that I'm interested in. And I'm going to read them when I have time. And when I, yeah, I mean, that's like everybody. I literally downloaded three different PDFs today. And she would rather watch a video. And, and I totally understand that and get that. And here's what the other thing to keep in mind, again, the PDF, the lead magnet, and don't hear me wrong when I say this, but that PDF doesn't have to be as good as whatever, because there is a good chance they're not going to read through the whole thing. And the real key here is that you actually have their information and you can follow up properly. So all of those PDFs that are sitting in a folder on your desktop, it might be interesting for you just to take some time and go, let me just see who's actually has a proper follow-up. And really for all of you guys, the goal, I mean, not the total goal, but you you have to start thinking like a marketing person. Like you, you own a law firm, sure you're a lawyer by trade, but you also have to be a marker. So figure out what is attractive to you, right? When you're signing up for stuff, right? Whatever you liked or didn't like about our webinar today, make note of that, right? And go, it was interesting the way they did this. I didn't like that part much. They kept me a little long, yada, yada. Whatever it is, you've got to start to become a student of, of marketing. You, you guys on this call cannot afford to not have at least a basic understanding of marketing, right? Yeah, All and right, I want to I want to interject because I see a, a couple missed comments about the PDF and the lead magnet. Don't overthink it, guys. That's why I literally said make it in an hour or less. Yes, the information should be good and valuable, but at the end of the day, it is it, it is not the end all be all of the marketing. Get it done. Get something together, even if it's a one sheet, and just get it done because the because really, that's just making good on what you promised. 
You got okay, them to gonna, opt in. Yeah, we're yeah. going to test it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we're yeah. going to follow up with it. We're going to follow up with that PDF. It's not the end all be all of this, this funnel. So don't get too overwhelmed right. or hung up on all the details of the, of the PDF or the lead magnet. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, cool. Next slide, please. So uh, we, this is in your workbook as well. So I'm not going to stay long on here. Um, but we've given you basically, uh, structures for opt-in videos, right? And your basic opt-in video goes something to the effect of, hey, you're here because you have this problem. I can help you with this problem. All you have to do is put your name and email in this page and I'm gonna help solve this problem for you. That's really the skeleton of a great opt-in video. Now, I'm gonna show you an example and show you how this thing comes to life but you're going to see the structure is really there. You don't have to have the same number of paragraphs. If you can go to the next page for me, please, or slide. Um, you don't have to have all, every, it doesn't have to have five paragraphs. And if you work with us from a video side, you'll recognize that we, we have all of our clients shoot in paragraphs. We know that the videos are going to be edited. So we're planning ahead on on that so you don't have to memorize the whole thing and we can make you do parts over and all that kind of good stuff. But this is basically the structure that you could literally use for any business. Now, when you get to paragraph five, this is where you've got to pay attention because if you're not having this trackable number specifically to this marketing campaign and specifically to this lead magnet uh, part, and you start to add more components, all of a sudden you're gonna realize like, oh, we've got the same phone number on this, that, and the other, and it's impossible to track which of our marketing efforts are working better. And when that happens, you don't know where to spend more money, right? Because ultimately you wanna be able to, you know, focus more energy and money on the efforts that are working better, right? So let's go to the next slide and let me just show you a quick opt-in video from one of our clients. Congratulations on taking the first step towards protecting your hard-earned assets for your family. To access our guide, simply enter your name and email address on this page and our firm will send the guide to you. Learning your options is a step that many people fail to take soon enough. When you don't learn those options and take action on those options, the asset protection opportunities you have to protect your family become extremely limited. To stay proactive in protecting your family, again, all you need to do is enter your name and email address on this page and we will send our guide to you. I mean, it does not get any better than this. First, here, let me tell you what I love that's so subtle about this. He literally starts with, oh, you're awesome because you're smart and you're already doing this. Literally, they haven't, but he's literally already thanking them. It's brilliant psychology, all right? And then subtly, you'll start to notice he's like, yeah, and if you, if you wait too long, mm, you could be screwed. But his tone isn't that, right? He's basically like, be proactive, right? It's such a great psychology. I mean, this video alone to me is worth its weight in gold just because for the right client, they buy it. There's zero reason to doubt what he's saying. All right, next slide, please. And this next slide, the thank you page, it's one of my favorite, um, and I'll tell you why. Regardless if what a, I'm A-B testing, right? I got a static page, I got a video page. I love a thank you video, and quite simply, I love a thank you video because one, man, it's a great place to be empathetic. It is a great way to basically say, hey, I understand what you're going through isn't so easy and we're here to help, right? And it's an easy touch point. Remember going back to those eight places where we can um, interact with our clients and touch points? This is a great place where if you think about, I saw a video ad, I saw a video opt-in, I saw a video thank you, I got three touch points where you're hearing my voice and seeing my face literally within five or 10 minutes. 
I mean, that's that's instant relationship collateral for me right there. All right, and you've got to tell them, you know, what the next steps are, check your junk folder, uh, that kind of thing. And uh, let's go through the next slides. We have a, a bit of a structure here for you. These are just two paragraphs. And again, it's being, it's being obvious, right? If I'm a criminal defense attorney and my lead magnet is five ways to avoid losing your license um, after a DUI arrest and somebody opts in, I can pretty much bet on the fact that they've been arrested for a DUI. I mean, it's not a hundred percent, but there's a good chance, right? So in that situation, it's like, hey, listen, thank you for taking the first step on regaining your license. I'm going to assume you've been arrested for a DUI and I know the kind of stress you're going through. I work with hundreds of clients a year who have been through this situation. I wanna tell you, good people make bad decisions sometimes and that's okay. We are not here to judge. I want you to check your email, that guide's there. But more importantly, if you know you need help right away, please give me a call at the number below. Like all of a sudden, all I've done is basically say, hey, you're not a total piece of shit. It's going to be okay. I also threw in a little line of hundreds of clients a year, a little credibility just like that, all within a video that's less than a minute long. All right. So a great opportunity. Go ahead and play the next video, please. Thank you for downloading our guide. The guide should be in your inbox already. So go ahead and check now to make sure that you receive this important information. If it's not there, go ahead and check your spam box to make sure that it didn't get caught up there. Look, the step that you're taking today to learn about your options is a step that many people fail to take soon enough. They wait too long to learn, and by the time they learn, it's too late to act, and their families are left unprotected. When you have read the guide and you're ready to take the next steps, go ahead and call our office to schedule your peace of mind strategy session to learn which options best fit you and to begin the steps towards protecting your family. I mean, it's, it's so good, guys. This is so, like, if you've seen that guy two times within the, in five minutes, and, and we know his ideal client, Elder Law, right? You either trust him or you don't, and you're not willing to. But the fact that he, he has those expression in his face, it's so, it looks so sincere, really good and well done to my director, whoever did that. All right, let's move on. Yep, next slide, please. Now we're gonna talk about the email. This is like your bread and butter right here, all right? All right, so um, first of all, I have to say, I told Jimbo that thank you videos don't matter, but after watching that one, <laughs> <laughs> they have changed my opinion. <laughs> I know something um, after all. <laughs> all right. So I, I totally stole this from Jimbo, but when he said it at the time, it literally struck a huge chord for me because it's so true. So this email follow-up is the insurance policy for everything you've done up to this point. You've, you've put in the money, the time, and the effort to get them this far, to get them to opt in. This is your insurance policy. This is where you have to really start to nurture them. So right after this opt-in, we're going to deliver them the first email. Email number one is always our lead magnet delivery, right? If you can add a video in there, it's always great. Teach them how to use your lead magnet or, or how to, you, or how to uh, if your video, you can pair it with a video, like create a video version of the lead magnet, right? And then it's just going to be additional touch points, building that know, like, and trust and educating them throughout the email process, right? It's just to keep them, keep their problem top of mind and to keep you top of mind after they've taken this one step. We're built and we're really building that personal connection with them before they ever step foot into your office. Okay. Now adding video to your email, as Jimbo said, it's a game changer. This connection will happen faster and it will be stronger if you add video to this. 66% of users prefer watching video of a, as a way of learning about new products or services. That's four times more popular than that PDF, okay? So that should really make you think about adding video to your, uh, your, your email, right? And then the goal of each email, like we said, it's a, like a next step. The goal of each email 
is to get them to book a consult. If the next email doesn't get them to book a consult and the, the following email does, then we take them out of that sequence, they go somewhere else, okay? So you have to really think of this as your insurance policy and a next step to getting them to the consultation point. Next slide, please. Here's the email follow-up structure that I really love that I think is most effective. Number Email number one, right? We've said nine, it should be about nine emails long, nine automated emails to nurture them. The first email is lead magnet delivery. The second email inspires them, right? We're selling them on the future. We're giving them hope. We're, we're making them feel good, right? Number three is, and, and reminder, emails two through nine, every call to action is book a consult. So email number three is teaching them something more in depth. Maybe you pick something from your lead magnet and expand on it. Get a little more in depth, give them a, give them, give them a little more depth and give them a little more detail about that one thing. And, and let me interject here. For all of you that were listing your lead magnets in the chat, one, thank you. But a lot of you are like, you know, five things on this, three things here, seven of this. This is where on that email number three, it's like, hey, today I'm going to talk about the third biggest thing that happens when you pass away and you don't have your affairs in order, right? And that would be referring back to it. And, and what you've got to realize is this, Again, we talked about it earlier. All this stuff is common knowledge to you guys, right? If I read that the seven reasons why I need a will or whatever, I mean, I'm a little bit more educated as far as this stuff goes than most people, but I still wouldn't know it, right? So we've got to think about how human beings actually learn. And for most of you on this call, for instance, nothing that we've said is like, oh my gosh, I've never heard of this. But as you hear it more and more, you start to like, okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, right? And that's the idea there. So don't worry about, oh, I've already said that. A lot of times you assume that they didn't even read the lead magnet, right? Like Valerie, right? <laughs> you gotta just send them more, <laughs> okay? Also guilty of the folder with things I'm eventually going to read. A video is always much more effective for me personally. Okay, yeah. so this is the structure, guys. And this is where that, if you take time to fill out that ideal client um, part of your work, workbook, book, this is where this stuff will come in play to help create the copy in the video around these. So you know it inspires them. So you know how to inspire them because you've called up past clients and said, hey, what inspired you, right? You're teaching them something else. Email number four, you're ad addressing those objections. If you haven't signed up for a consult yet, you're probably uh, afraid to make the next step. You're probably wondering what's going to happen if I really cross this threshold, or maybe the objection is money. You're really worried about spending money uh, with an estate planning attorney. Well, what's the value of your family's uh, peace of mind to you? Can you put a dollar tag on that? This is where you address those fears and objections that they might have. Um, frequent, you can do a frequently asked questions email again, just to kind of save yourself and your team from having to spend time answering these. You get ahead of the game. They come in informed. Uh, we're going to do an email on no action means no change, right? If we don't do anything, nothing will ever change for us. So are we going to say stay stuck with our head in the sand? Or are we going to make, uh, are you going to make it easy for us to take that change? And I, uh, let me just chime in this. No action, no change. Again, this is where psychology comes in, right? If, if I've got like a family law practice, I'm going to be talking about in email six things like um, I'm going to share stories about how somebody, you know, had wanted a divorce for eight years before they take action. And I'm going to talk about now, look, of course, I'm thankful that they have finally moved forward. But what would it mean to you to lose eight years of your life, right? And you talk about things like in um, no indecision, meaning you're not making a decision, is actually a form of self-abuse. I mean, how many times do we do this to ourselves, right? Deciding to buy this, deciding to go there. Oh, can I afford it? Can I do this? Is it going to work? Blah, 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 right? All of that head talk is self-abuse. Right. So this is where you have the opportunity 
to show how much you care about them by rubbing the salt in the wound just a little bit. All right. Yeah. Uh, number seven, we're going to let them know what a consult looks like if our consult is free. What does it look like if I show up for a free consult? What value am I going to get out of that? Or if you have a paid consult, we're going to offer some information around why we charge free versus paid, right? Email number eight is going to be how to hire an attorney if you're having this problem. But that is where you get to talk. That's kind of really about you, right? Here's the things you need to look for and make sure the attorney is doing, but you really do all those things. So it makes it easy for them because you've listed all your redeeming qualities, right? You can also use a brand video there. And then lastly, that, that last email, and this can be kind of interchanged throughout the structure, but it's our client testimonials. We want to give them that social proof to make them, to let them connect with others that have worked with you and have had a really great experience with you and have, you know, are better off in their life now that they've worked with you, right? So again, all of these paired with video make for a hundred times better email uh, campaign. You can, you can do video from the awareness stage and inspire them. You can do video for the consideration stage where there's, we're still educating them. And then in that conversion stage, we're really show, showcasing our service and reinforcing um, their, their intent, right? Their purchase intent, if you will. I wanna jump to, Valerie had a question and I love my team, but y'all gave like such a super simplified answer of how do I automate taking someone out of a sequence? That's a very lawyerly answer of it depends. If you have a, <laughs> it is. If you have a CRM that allows you to set up those automations, so basically you set up little if and then statements, if they do this, then I take them out of this and it works with tagging, it's very magical. If you can do that, if you don't have a system that's set up for that or don't have something that integrates like that, there may be a little manual work on your side, meaning if they call a trackable number because you don't have a clickable link, we need to make sure they came through the trackable number. That means they came through this lead magnet. And I know I set up with this trackable number. So I need to have my team or myself needs to go in and pause them in that sequence or take them out of that automated sequence. Okay. So it really depends on your system and, and what you have set up. Not right. always automated, but it, it makes it easier if it is automated. And all of that is a little bit sausage factory for <laughs> most of us, right? Because I was going to go like, nope, it has to be manual. I don't do this. And most of us on this call should not. I know Valerie is more tech savvy than a lot of the attorneys that we work with. So proceed with caution, dear lady. All right. So we've been talking about this follow up and why it matters so much. You may have watched our video last week with Brittany and a little bit of an example of follow up. But I'm going to play for you guys here a quick clip where I got to interview uh, Cynthia Grande. So if you can go to the next slide literally she was on our list for a year and we just kept at her all right so listen to what she had to say about follow-up and why she decided to eventually join us my name is cynthia grande and i'm the owner of the grande law firm we help immigrant families live without fear and achieve the american dream i decided to take the test drive in 2020 because it was really a no-brainer decision <laughs> it was free um jumbo was awesome and it seemed like a perfect way to find out how it all worked and see what it actually looked like to do one of these videos. I didn't join the program a year ago because I didn't feel like I had the basic things that you needed to have set up. Like we were building out our automations and I didn't have the staff that could help facilitate these things. So I, there were a lot of reasons, a lot of excuses for why I wasn't ready to do it at that time. I thought that the follow-up was wonderful because it gave me helpful information that even though I wasn't in the program was useful and I could look at how to implement that and what we were already doing. And because I just kept on getting value over and over again in these emails, I kept on opening them up and seeing them and seeing all the offers that come along with it too. So it was really 
it was great. It was useful and I got a lot of value in just the follow-up. I decided to join a year later because all of those reasons for why I wasn't ready or I shouldn't because of A, B, and C, I mean, some of them were still there, some weren't. I just realized there was always going to be something. And in order to take my business to the next level, I realized that I needed to invest in marketing and video is a huge part of that. And it, it was a really simple way to get a lot of content complete in a short period of time with wonderful resources like Jimbo and his team. One of the things about that video thing that have that I found to be super helpful or useful in our marketing efforts is that I've noticed that people have been sharing these videos on much more on a higher level um, or more often than our other videos that we were already doing. And I think it's because of the quality of the video that's produced, the content, you know, all of the, the small pieces that don't seem like a big deal, but they really, you can see it. <laughs> you can see it in the result. You can see it in the number. Follow-up is super, super important. Um, just last week, we, there's, we've had clients that we follow up with on a pretty regular basis that um, sometimes they're not ready when they initially make contact with us, but because of the follow-up, we stay top of mind for them. And once they're ready to take action, we're there ready and they remember us. And it's so important. I don't think our business would have, would be growing if it wasn't for that. Okay, great. Here's what I love. I just ask her questions. There were no retakes. There were no like, say this, Cynthia, so that I have blah, blah, blah. Just, I was like, tell me the truth. And repeatedly, she, she basically said, value. You just kept providing value. So at the time she became ready, there was no other choice for her. And that's what it can be for each of you, right? Like it really can be that simplistic. All right, let's keep it going. Next slide. All right, just go ahead into the next slide. So we're really next talking about driving traffic to our landing page. And we saved this for last because you really need to build out all, all the other pieces and parts to get this last piece of the puzzle right when you're building out this, this automated marketing machine, right? So here's a few ways you can send traffic. You can use paid ads, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google ads, things like that. You can post organically on your social media platforms weekly. That's zero cost. You can share this opt-in page with your referral partners and have them send traffic for you, right? You can use this lead magnet, this opt-in page at speaking and networking events to drive traffic to it. And you can add it to your website. Most people um, forget to add things like this to their website thinking, well, if they're on my website, they're gonna book a consultation. Wrong. Website is the first part, you know, that first step, that first touch that they could take to get to know you or your business, but having something easier for them than calling your office, like a PDF or something easy they can just read on their own to get more info, is a better way to get them into your, your, your system, get them onto your list. Now, I will say uh, quickly that if you decide to use your lead magnet with all these types of different traffic, you need to make sure you set up special links for all of them so you know where they're coming from, okay? All right, next slide, please. Be trackable. One second. I'm sorry. I got to say one more thing because I, I feel like we, we kind of gloss over this post organically on social media weekly. Here's the thing, guys. When you have something like this built up, literally a couple times a week with every Facebook post, Instead of saying nothing, instead of not having a call to action, you could literally slip in, hey, want more resources or find more information about this topic? Click here. And it doesn't even matter if the topic's so super related or not. At least you have an opportunity to get them off of Facebook. There, that lead is doing you no favors just by on Facebook. So what she's saying, again, you take the landing page link right? Put it into a Facebook post, hit post, and then all of a sudden at any point, somebody just clicks on that link and they're off on landing pages, right? Off on your landing page. All right, go ahead. All right, let's go into the next slide. And now we're going to talk about video ads because I think paid traffic is a really great way to drive the masses 
to this landing page, right? And the best part about paid traffic is you can target it. You can get really specific about who you want to see your ads, who you want to receive your ads and those sort of things. Um, so they're the PNC is gonna, the, a successful ad, next step marketing, a successful ad is when a PNC clicks the link and gets to your landing page. That's when you know an ad's worked. If you're getting lots of impressions and reach and stuff like that, but nobody's clicking, the ad's no good. So again, you have to be testing um, your, your different types of ad creative. A marketer friend just recently told me for all of her clients, video outperforms static images. Outperforming by far. She's like, because it makes them stop their scroll. A video makes people stop their scroll versus an image, okay? So just something to keep in mind, but always good to test. And you really do wanna just test all the creative. Test the videos, test multiple videos, test your copy on the ad, test your headlines on the ad, and then find that sweet spot again, right? So this is why I really like and prefer um, paid traffic to a, land, a lead magnet of, of something like this. Okay, so now let's go to the next slide because since I already said, my marketer friend told me video ad outperforms images, you need some video ad structure. Yeah. And this one is, is super simple. This is where you don't have to be super creative or clever. It simply is, do you have this problem? I can help you with this problem. Do this next, right? So go ahead and go to the next slide and we'll show an example of a real human being doing this masterfully. I mean, she is amazing. Go ahead and play. So you're thinking about getting a divorce, but you don't want to divorce your kids. You're a good dad and you want more than just those weekend visits that you've heard about. Every dad thinks that if he gets a divorce, he's gonna lose his relationship with the kids, but that's not true. There are 17 factors that the courts consider when they're deciding who the kids are gonna be with and how much time each parent should get. Click here to download my free PDF on the 17 factors that the Georgia courts consider when determining custody of the children. After all, they're not getting the divorce. You are. I mean, she basically said, are you this kind of person? You're a dad who's going through a divorce who doesn't want to lose your kids. You're a good dad. Is that true? Oh, yeah, I'm a good dad. Like, that's where you take the video ad structure and you put this human element behind it, right? You make it come to life. You make a person associated with that solution. All right, next slide. If you might feeling like, yeah, it sounds simple. I get it. A lot, there's a lot that goes into this. And, and we've been doing this for now over a year. There's one specific part that I want to tell you about and offer you a solution, right? Because we can put all of this stuff together for you. And quite honestly, you know, I've been selling video for a long time, 20 plus years. And I've never had a problem selling video. The people understand, yeah, I think video would work and I get it, I may not wanna do it. What people don't really know how to do is how to make the video return their investment, right? How do you make the video really work for your law firm? And that's why I'm pleased to introduce you to that funnel thing. Yeah, we have that video thing. Next slide, please, thank you. Now we have that funnel thing. We have about 30 clients that we're working with right now. Several of them have been on this call. And guys, this is a done for you solution. We're gonna help you create the lead magnet, meaning we're gonna interview you. We're gonna get the PDF created so you don't have to go find somebody on Fiverr. We're gonna build the tech, the landing page. We're gonna build the thank you page. We're gonna write all of the copy for nine emails and all of that automation is included. We're going to ensure that your brand is has continuity, right? So that it feels like you and it's not some separate piece of your law firm. And there's going to be eight videos that are included in this package over Zoom or virtually. So you're going to work with one of my directors. Two of them are on the call right now, Wesley and Allison. And 
together with our account managers, they're also in this call under the supervision of Brittany and myself, we're gonna make sure that your entire funnel actually makes sense and gets done. We're gonna tell you exactly what videos to record and we're going to give you the script structure. And sometimes we're literally going to give you the script and go, just do this script, make it your own, all right? Because we actually do know what we're doing. All right, next slide. Like I said, we're gonna help you create that lead magnet. So if you don't have anything or you know you need another one, we're actually gonna interview you. We're going to get it transcribed. We're going to clean it up and then we're actually going to hand it back over to you for your approval. That's the same concept we're gonna do for all of these emails. All of the emails will be written out, but you're gonna get a chance to read through them, change anything, tweak anything. If you think, oh, I really wouldn't say it like this, I would say it more like that. Great, fine, whatever, but it's going to be done for you. Again, we're gonna tell you what, exactly what videos to make. We're gonna make this literally as simple as possible. We're gonna build all of the tech. And here's what's really great it's going to include A-B testing. So you don't get just one landing page, you get two, right? We're gonna make sure that you understand the monthly analytics and we're gonna be able to go over, with, over those analytics with you on a monthly basis. Not me personally, I don't understand the analytics, but our account managers will walk you through the numbers on your website and make suggestions and all of that will be included as we tweak this thing along. Because here's the thing, if you really know anything about marketing, it's always testing, ABT. It's always be testing, right? And so this isn't, you know, a set it and forget it kind of a deal. This is we build it and then we continue to test it along the way so that we make sure it's performing the way we know it should. All right. And here is the pricing. Next slide, please. It is a $2,500 setup fee that will be run as soon as you place your order. And if somebody could put that order form in the chat, I would appreciate it. 12 payments of $1,150. The next payment will not start until 60 days after that first payment runs. So we, we've got time to get these things built. We're gonna rely on you to show up, to do what you're told, all right? And make those videos under our supervision, all right? So I hope you've enjoyed the webinar. If you've got questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. If you know you wanna sign up, we are only, we're, here's the truth. We just have limited capacity at the time. So we can only take 10 people right now, 10 law firms. And that's basically a first come first serve basis. And if you wanna sign up, I see that the link is in there and that will be uh, good for now. We're gonna be following up with people because we know that the fortune is always in the follow up. And if you have any questions or need to reach out to us, please do that. Otherwise, we hope you got something out of this webinar and we hope to see you in that final thing real soon. All right. All right, Eric, you're welcome. I appreciate that. Yes, great presentation, Adam Diamond, who's already in that funnel thing. You are so welcome. <laughs> How long would you suggest running each campaign? Um, well, I can take, I can take yeah, that. Go ahead. Yeah, run it for about 30 days and see how it's performing, right? We want to run it for 30 days. We want about $1,000 spend on it, and we want to see what it does and how it performs. And then we want to tweak from there, right? Then we want to see, is it, are our ads working? If they're not working, how can we tweak the ads? Is the landing page not performing? If that's not performing, how can we tweak that? Or after normally a little longer than 30 days is when we really start to see the email, right? Because everything's kind of slowly dripped out and we'll go, okay, what's going on with the emails? Are we getting those opens? Are we getting clicks within the emails? So I give it at least 30 days to start and tweak based on the data that you're seeing. Okay, cool. And yeah, people are saying, thank you, Marjorie. We appreciate you. Yes, of course. You will be filming tomorrow. And we know that your funnel is going to be awesome. We talked about you this morning. So we're excited that you're going to be showing up and, and getting that done. We're super excited. Yes. 
Yes, <laughs> Eric says I'm already signed up for this. <laughs> Eric, we're gonna we're gonna knock the worry right out of you. <laughs> yes, we have been gently, yes, lovingly pushing Eric along the way. And Eric, we we are we know you're a superstar, man. You were on one of the How to Manage a Small Law Firm's uh, success panel calls last week, and everybody on the team has raved about you. And we we watch you even when you don't think we're looking at you, we're proud of you, man. And, and just keep putting that one foot in front of the other. We know you're doing great, great work out there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Marjorie's going to be there to, to hold your hand. And thank you, Patrick Rock, Rock, Roth, who I've never met in person, but I somehow follow on Facebook and he posts a lot of pictures. I think this guy buys a car every week. I don't know what's happening, um, <laughs> but an interesting post nonetheless. From registration to functional landing page, drip, estimated time, if you have a willing and super responsive client. Brittany. So normally, okay, let's say they do everything one day at a time, okay? So the first day they got the ad, they opted in, they saw the first email, right? So then we're going to say uh, that next email should go out in two to three days. I like a two. The next email after that, the first four should go like two days, one at, one day after the other. The last uh, five emails should be spread out about three to four days, okay? And then if you have someone that's responsive, I, I, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Just if they're checking their emails, if they're responsive, they should be booking a consult with you. <laughs> I think he might mean if he were to sign up for this, what's his turnaround for having oh. that? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I, I think our turnaround time is about eight to 10 weeks, depend on how super responsive you are. Yeah. Well, he's basically suggesting he's on it. And from what yeah, I know about this guy, he is pretty on it. <laughs> I feel like we can move as quick as, as you can, but, uh, we do, I will say we'll need to film the, we'll, we need to record the videos, which usually takes about two sessions. So that's two weeks in itself. And then they're edited. And then after that, we move pretty fast. So, yeah, absolutely. And we, and and Eric, I mean, the whole thing is basically we're, you know, you could film, you know, your videos in one week in two different sessions, right? And if you come with us with a already pre-made lead magnet, that helps, right? And if we know, like, hey, Eric is really like this super responsive client, like you're claiming to be, then I'm going to be pushing everybody. Let's get this done, right? We need to get him some more leads in to make them paying clients. So absolutely. All right. If there's not any more questions, uh, again, thank you guys for hanging out. I know we went a little bit longer, but I think we, we did pretty good for what we're we're normally a little bit more than 90 minutes or usually closer to 100, um, but we hope we provide a great value. Again, we'll be following up and I hope to see you in that funnel thing. All right, everybody, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.